I got a mass email telling me that there's going to be a pillow fight at the art gallery grounds on Sunday, <laughs> tomorrow now, from 3 till 3.15. <laughs> yeah, and in the email, it tells you to bring your pillow concealed. <laughs> so I guess I'm just supposed to show up with like a pillow stuffed in my coat. And then I just walk around like, you don't know what I'm up to. <laughs> yeah, I might be here to feed some pigeons. I might be here to see some art. You don't know my business. <laughs> and then I guess at three o'clock, I just pull this pillow out and start belting fuckers in the head. <laughs> and be like, what, you didn't get the email? And it says the pillow must be feathered. I don't know who's checking, um, but I don't know what your last pillow fight was. For me, maybe nine years old. But I remember there's always some big kid who's like, hey, he wants to have a pillow fight. And then he'd run into his parents' bedroom. He'd get the one giant feathered pillow that his dad slept on. He'd get all the feathers down the bottom of the pillow slip. Yeah, at this point, you might as well just put a 30-pound turkey in a potato sack. He'd come out like Braveheart. He'd be like, boom, boom, just cranking kids all over the house. He laid one kid flat out on the kitchen floor like, holy Christ, Timmy's gonna need a telethon this year. He's down. <laughs> and then at 3.15, I guess I just tuck the pillow back in my coat, walk off like nothing happened. Just, just leave some guy on the art gallery grounds for the CSI Vancouver squad to try and put it together and be like, I, I don't know, Reginald, judging by the position of the body and the splatter pattern of the feathers, it looks like a Canada goose just dive-bombed him and took off. Well, we best put up some nets around 3-3-15. They seem to attack then.